Okay. So what was the objective or the specific objective? To determine the car price and the associated factors. Okay. <coughs> to determine the car price and the associated factors. Let's see it one last time. Right. I told you that's the way I want. Some of you just copied SPSS uh, tables and paste that. That was not the way I wanted, right? Okay, let's go through the example here. And I've gone through three examples the other day. Okay, let's do one. All right, general objective is determine the car price, right? Yes. Car price and the associated factors. Right, so first one, determine the car price. The population can be car price among the, so again, say determine the car price and the factors. You can give a name among, let's say, university, university staff, among bank staff, okay? All right. So determine the car price in the bank staff. among the bank staff. <coughs> Where is the amount? That means uh, all the car price okay and determine the factors associated with car price Okay, to answer the first objective, the car price. Okay, car price variable. We'll go to analyze descriptive frequencies for car price. Here we're going to look at the six. We can talk about mean, median, just looking at how the data is distributed, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, these kind of things, just to describe, to see, look at the data. All right. The car price, the mean is so much. That's a median, quite close. That is standard deviation. That is skewness. This Excuse control. me. Excuse me, Prof. Uh, uh, one classmate has not entered the meeting room. Would you please allow him, uh, allow her to enter the room, please? Okay. So now we have, that's a mean. Or oh, you want to press the table. The mean, median, standard deviation, skewness. So we don't need this. Sample size is very high, large. Therefore, catharsis and this enough. That's a minimum, that's a maximum. All right. You want to transpose this. Okay, that's a descriptive statistics. Decimal places, I think two places is enough.
Right. So you can name the table. Table one. Keep the summary. Oh, car price. Let's get here. Me, I Okay, how many cases in the in the particular data? How many cases? Total number? Somebody, what's total number? Five nine four. Five. Five hundred ninety four. Five hundred ninety four. Is it a large sample or small sample? Large. Large sample. There were five hundred ninety four cases in the sample. The summary. Or car price is shown in table one. The mean car price was seventy two point three eight. Was 72.38 plus minus. Thirty four point two one. Twenty four point two one. This is dollars, right? Twenty four All right, the skewness value and catosis value for lesson two, lesson seven, and data distribution. Normal. The code of homograph seminar will be less than 0 0.05. Right? The 95% CI, 95% confidence interval, confidence interval, car price. How do you get a confidence interval? Nice, nice, descriptive. Explore. Car price. Just click OK. If I do test anomality, test anomality. Right. If the test of normality p value is less than 0 0.05, hence data cannot be normal, right? But we can apply the skewness and catastrophe rule, and that's your confidence interval, lower and upper bound, right? So 95% CI confidence interval because you are determining for the population among all the bank staff. This only is descriptive among the sample. So 95% CI for the car price was 70.43, right? 
cheat fee. Four point cheat fee. Right. That answers objective one. Right. So this is just to tell how your distribution is. To justify, we are quite fairly normal. Therefore, I can use parametric. Right. That's objective one. Any question? No. All right. Next, to test the factors associated with car price. Car price, I don't know what test you're going to use. Depends on your assumptions. So what test you used, I'll pick up later. Okay, let's go to test. What are the variables? Gender, marital status, place of residence, age, income, education level, years of employment. All right, so these are the variables. Monthly variables, let's do a frequency first. Frequency. Oh. Excuse me, doctor. I want to ask a question. The variable oh. is just the county or county or county posts can use a variable. No, in this case, yeah. In this case, all the variables are qualitative, right? Yes, I know because I say this value in the data value, there all of this is quality. All these are quality, right? Yes. All right. So we prepare a table. One table for all this. So we don't know whether I'm going to use qualitative, quantitative. And let's say I use this table. Something like this. That's why I did this and recorded, right? Yes, but I have some issues towards the variable for income. Okay. So let's talk about these variables now one by one. So what are the variables here? Gender, next variable. Merit, marital. Marital, how many levels? Two. Two levels. <laughs> marital, we have unmarried and married. Okay, unmarried, married. Next. Place of residence, sure. Place of residence, urban rural. Okay, place of residence. The urban rural. Age. How many levels are there? Five. Okay, five levels there. Eh? Okay, put all the variables. Next, income. Income. Four level. Four levels. Okay. Next. Education. Education. Five level. Five level. Yes, of employment, right? Yes. Employment. Straight level. Okay, employment. And how many, how many levels we have? So we know all these are qualitative variables. Therefore, it's going to be these two, these three, right? They all need two levels, right? Yes. It's going to be either T test or man made need. Depends on the assumption. All yes. these are more than two levels. Therefore, this will be a NOAA or Kraskal Valley. Depends on the assumption. Okay, let's do the first one. Marital status, sorry, gender. Now, is it okay to do one way and over for everything? Is it okay to do one way and over? Is there a t-test? Actually can, because two is subset of three. Right, now mind we do one by one, compare mean, different samples. So here, 
car price standard my code is one two all right so put the mean values assumption is it met the assumption met no no okay let's try next so assumption not met then what do you do it's a non-parametric do the non-parametric test right so we do non-parametric test it's going to be median and interquartile range something like this we can't use mean right it's going to be something like this let's run the test analyze non-parametric test Legacy dialogue, two independent. More than two, K independent. All right. Variable, car price, gender, one, two. Remember the test is, man, we need U test. The P value, less than 0 0.05, right? Yes. Yes. So what goes here? Median and interquartile range. How do you get that? And uh, this descriptive. Explore. And uh, descriptive. Explore. Car price by gender. That's all. Okay. All right. For the male. How much for the mail? Nine zero. Nine. Nine zero, right? Nine zero. In the quarter range? Three four point one three. Three four point one three. Three four point two one three. All right. Okay, nine zero. One three. Thirty four point one three, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Female. Fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty five. And the quarter range? 25.5. Okay. 25. 25.5. 25.5. Okay. So I'm telling here, look here, they are not mean and standard deviation. They are median and the quarter range. So that's your uh, footnote. That's how you uh, address this. So now, who's higher, male or female? Female. This is male, right? Male, male is higher, female is lower. Right. Factors associated, gender significant, yes. How? The car price among the male is higher compared to the female. Female. Right. So similarly, do the rest. Let's look at age. Age, eh? age more than two levels, right? Yes. I know why. Okay. Since they're there, just run for other variables. So whatever two levels, uh, status, two levels. Marital is zero one. Zero one. Yeah. The marital is zero one. Assumptions met, right? Yes. Okay, this will be, marital will be mean plus or minus deviation, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yes. And standard deviation. And the p-value, what's the p-value here? Zero point eight eight zero. So zero point eight eight zero means what? There's no difference, right? Yes. At the center, no difference. Next. There's no difference. Right. Residence. Place of residence. Let's see how it's defined. I think it's one, two. Right. This urban rural assumption met? Is the assumption yes. met? Yes. yes. So we report mean plus or minus standard deviations. And then what's the p value? p value yes. less than? Less than 
zero point zero right. zero zero one. What in the other right? What's I have rural? Urban. Urban more than rural. So here, urban more than rural. Or here, males more than females. Right up or your right up. All right, here no difference. All right, let's go to age. Age. More than two levels. And for you. And no one. And no one. The same variable name. Age is the car price. Age is in years. Right. And options. Descriptive homogeneity. All right. Okay. So these are mean values if you love them. And the assumption is it met? The assumption met? No. No. Assumption is not met. Therefore, cannot use an award. And what do you do? You do the non non parametric. Analyze. One parametric. In fact, you can do this straight away. No, it is yes. Fields. Fields. Our price. Price. Yeah, it will be. Now, some of you couldn't do it because H in years. Yeah, it must be in scale. It cannot be nominal. That's it. This is yes, right? This you can. This is mirror in this you can norm because this is uh, the mirror is the scale scale. So we need to change it to the nominal. Right. So that's a problem there. Some of you had this problem. I think we're going to change the reference the labeling. Right. Okay. So go to variable view. Currently scale. Scale means continuous, depends version, okay? Some versions are different. So all are nominal, so I'll copy and paste all this here. To tell they are nominal scale. All right, let's try again. Nice. Okay, because you want to post talk after this, so it has to do the same time. So here, age in years, and right. You're doing two things in one go. What I want, the p-value first. So what's the p-value here? Less than. Is it less than 0 0.001? 0 0.001. Each less than 0 0.001. That means at least one pair differ, right? Yes. So what goes here is median and IQR, right? Yes. Interquartile range. Median and interquartile range. IQR. Okay. Let's see which pair is different. Okay, so many pairs now. So which pair of pairs are different? Which pairs are different? You look inside here. Right, pairwise. So first comparing with 25 and 55, right? Is there a difference? No difference. This and this, no difference. Yes. So very difficult to see from here the difference which pair is different. So we do the medians. Sorry, Prof. Yeah. After I do the analysis, I can't see this uh, pairwise comparison of each in the... Which version are you using? Sorry? Which version, version, which version are you using? 25. 25, huh? Yeah. Some versions, what do you do? Okay, some version, you must click this table. This okay. table will come out, this kind of table, right? Click the table, and then one more table, you break into two partition, under this section, go below, and click pairwise comparison. Can you do that? Okay. All right. So this is a later version. It comes in one go, everything's there. Now, if it's a, at least one pair, which pair is different? Which pair no different? Only these two are no different, right? Yeah. The All rest others is... are different, isn't it? 
Yes. So these two, more than 25 and less than 55 less than. So this is more than 55, less than 25. These two are not different, right? So the medians. These two are lower compared to the rest, isn't it? Isn't it? These two pairs, no different, right? Yes. Which pair is it? More than 25 and less than 25. That means what? The older and the younger, they're no different, right? Yes. You know what same. This, is it more than this? Yes. This, is it more than this? Yes. This is more than this? Yes. Okay. So what do you see now? The higher, the older is the person. And the person gets older, the car price increases, right? Yeah. It's a trend. Except, Except for 55. Yeah. Oh. 35, 55 is the lowest, right? 25. And that, other than that, higher, older the person, higher the car price until this stage. So now you can see a trend this way. After that, it comes back to uh, like the 25. So the difference here, because here the p value only one pair is more than 0 0.05, all the other pairs are different. All the other pairs are different. So very difficult to say, ah, this is more than that, this is more than that, this is more than that, right? You can say there's a trend. So 55 and 25, there's no difference. Otherwise, there is an increasing trend in the car price over the age. That's enough. Sorry, Prof, uh, just double check with you. Uh, this will be the first set of data, right? Because the second set of data, the H is only have four groups. Ah, okay, never mind. Okay. Four groups, huh? Yeah, am I correct? Yeah, you use whatever you have. Okay, so there are two sets of data, in other words, right? Okay, whatever set of data you're using, one is five group, one is four group, just use it, okay? All right? Okay, thank you, Prof. All right. Okay, other set of data is that I changed the fifth level. I didn't want you to have too many variables. There are five there. I transform, recorded them. Each five, I changed to four. Okay, let's test. Professor, I have a question yes. um, about uh, uh, presenting the mean or median mm. because some of the uh, factors inside the subclass, uh, uh, some meet the screw test, the Curtis test, but some not. But because you know it's a long parametric test, can I group them all in median? All right, so you can argue that way. So uh -huh. what's important is overall, let's say we, are, we always keep the first objective. Overall, I can assume it's fairly normal. To start with, to start with, like in this case now, I do T, two levels, I do T test first. Now why? Uh -huh. The non-parametric less powerful. Okay. T test first. If the assumption is not met, what is that variance? Not equal not equal, then I go to non-parametric. You always start with parametric. Okay. But that's more powerful than non-parametric. But you already mentioned here, they are fairly normal. Supposing here, this was 7.5, this was 9.6, then I say are both more than seven, and, and two, more than, then the data is not normally distributed. Data distribution was not normal. Then I can follow all non-parametric, all the way. Have I answered the question? Um. For example, okay, um, like H, okay, uh, um, maybe the less less than twenty five, 
uh, is the, the, the school test is within the, the, the range, for example. Uh -huh. uh, so other age range does not meet the requirements. So if both, you know, um, um, so what can I? All right. So normally, normally uh -huh. test overall. Good. Uh, overall, okay. Right. And then within the groups, only check the variances. Ah, okay. Don't test normality inside each group. Okay. Right? Whether variances, whether equal, because that's the assumption. Variances, whether equal, that's all. Are you okay? Yes. All right. Equal, parametric, not equal, non-parametric. Okay. Have they changed to four levels now? I can see there's a trend this way. After that, coming down, let's see which pairs are different. Which pairs are different? Only this pair, no different, right? Yes. Which pair? The 40s. The lowest, uh, 46 to 55, 26 to? This two, right? 40, more than 45 to, uh, to 26 to 35. Right. So this is not different. All the rest are different. So in this kind of situation, what do you do? What do you say? There's no difference between 26 to 55 and 46 to 55. Otherwise, otherwise, these two, are they different? Yes. Yes, these two are different and they imply other things. There's no difference between this group and this group. Other than that, all pairwise differ. Enough, right? There's no difference here. Otherwise, all other pairs are different, right? Mm. Yes. That will show how it works in the median values. Okay, let's do the medians. Car price and the age. So capture all the median values. Median and IQR. Of course, other factors are involved in testing, okay, but whatever you have, just report. So that's a median for this group. Median, IQR, X group, median, IQR, just report. Are we clear? Yes. Yep. Right. Same thing for others. The variance, whenever you report like this, I put a mean plus or minus standard deviation, but otherwise the report here, median and IQR, I know you're doing this non-parametric test, the variance is not equal. But that's all I asked. Some of you just copy the table and just place it there. Example, I've seen some of you with the t-test, you got the results, you copy the two tables and just place it here. We don't want this. If you want to put appendix, it's fine. But here, I don't accept this kind of tables. I want the in one table like this, right? Telling, asking, what's the difference? Is there a difference between gender? You're telling yes. How they differ? You're reporting median. Then I know there's a, the variance not equal. Then mention how they differ, right? Mention how they differ, like what he did earlier. Like two paragraphs, one paragraph for one, enough. So most likely, what I use a parametric and non-parametric test. End of the day, you know what test you used. So what test were used here. Let me try this. All right. Whatever test you use, you paste it here. All right. Then based on the table, what do you see? I mean, that's all I want. The table values as a reference. And here, whatever differences it describe, how they differ. Males were more than females, blah, blah, blah. So now, this is my objective. 
is my specific objective. Tell the sample size was. Describe the sample and describe the normality part and describe the adequate presence CI. That answers objective number one. That means the mean car price will be anywhere between these two. Then for testing other factors associated, demography, just put all the table here. Demography, that's always, I think the demography, put it down. I want to know whether the mean value or whatever value differ between the values here. The same table, I'm going to continue. Anyway, later in your chapter four, you still need to provide a table for demographic variables. How many males, how many females, and, and percentage. So here will be number and percentage. You have to provide the table first. Tell who your respondents were. Right? So once you've done this, the same table you're going to carry forward for your testing later is here. So based on that, we know how many levels, how many levels. Therefore, t test, variance not equal, it will be man with me. Or is it one way and over? Variance not equal, therefore cross call values. That's all right. Have I answered your question? Doctor, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, because in the p value, you said that the, the less than 0 0.0001. Can I say that the, the value is less than 0 0.05? Okay. Because you gave me the flow chart is 0 0.05. So if the p value here, like example here, this p value is 0. 0, 2, 3, okay? Yes. Right? So, you didn't mention here, you don't have to mention the p-value for gender is so much known it. As shown in table, in table 2, among the tested variables, right? Among the tested variables, so what's here? Gender, one bracket, you can put P less than 0 0.001. What is next? Let's say now marital, marital status, marital status, bracket P equals to 0 0.023. Okay, let's put you don't have to mention the P is more than or less than 0 0.05. Oh, okay. So here, supposing this p value is 0 0.5696, I won't mention here. I won't mention the variable residence. I won't mention this variable. Why? Because I'm telling among the tested variables, I won't mention this, among the tested variables, only gender, marital and others. Residence is not significant. I don't have to mention yet. All right? Okay. All right. That's the variables were significantly associated. You don't have to explain much. That's why I'm referring to the table. Refer to the table here, table two. So based on table two, I'm telling among the tested variables, which variable? All these variables. These variables were significant. Which one? The p-value less than 0 0.05. So this is not. Are you okay? Yes. Significantly associated with our price. Let us explain. Who's higher? The male's higher, right? Yes. There's more than females, let's say urban, more than rural, whatever it is. Explain how they differ. Are we clear? Yes. Thanks. So for checking purpose, I need only this. That is the most two pages. 
Can we put all the values in appendix? He said, okay. I don't give me this. If you don't give me this and give it table after table, that's not what I, what I want. Right? Summarize them into one table. I look at table after table, I get confused. Even the reader will get confused. Later, I write manuscripts or publications. We do want this. We want factors associated. So what are the factors? Just a table, you tell us. That's all you want. We can't have many tables when you send a manuscript. Depend on objective. This is my objective, determine the factors. Therefore, so these are factors. I put all in one table and I found out which variable is significant and how. Are you clear? Class, are you clear? Yes. Yes. So before you graduate, do you have to publish article? Yes. So you prepare, plan, and learn from my itself. At that time, maybe too late. As I told you, I went through with you first the abstract copy and paste. Next, copy and paste methodology. Next, copy and paste the results. Right? Different authors, we have different styles. But it is what generally they have reported to answer that objective. The objective may differ. So I told you, take an article similar to yours. Then you won't do this. That article, definitely they wouldn't report it like this. Are we clear? I yes. saw quite a number of you did this. Emma, I'll give you another opportunity, okay? Correct it. All those just give me this. You put appendix, it's okay. And we didn't put tables, you're putting graphs, histogram. That's not what I want. All the things you can put appendix you want to. But I want only this. Right? This is my objective. What's your first answer? Objective. Second, that's all I wanted. So I give you one, one more chance. All those who want to correct your assignment one. Go ahead, submit before Saturday. Anybody wants to do it? Class, anybody wants time to correct your assignment? Yes. All right. So I give you the option is yours, whether you want to do or not. Okay, then you do it. The subject, you type there, then I know who is submitting the corrected one, right? Subject, assignment one, corrected. I know you are submitting the second one, which is corrected. Okay? Uh, so what if I didn't do the age because I was uh, using the first data set? Uh, can I correct that one also? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, all those you feel you need to correct it, just send me one more, that's all. Suppose you didn't do ages now, you want to add age, it's fine. Just add age and resubmit. Is it okay? Okay. All right, just resubmit. But put here, corrected. Right? I'm not marking you down because you corrected, okay? I want to know you did correctly this time around. Because a learning exercise, this is what you're going to do later. It's okay. All right? But I don't want this kind of work from beginning. Later assignments, right? I want this kind of work. Whatever I discuss in the class, do something similar. Okay, questions? Oh. Yeah. When it comes to re reporting the median or standard deviation to, uh, I mean, the mean to standard deviation and then median to IQR, right? IQR, yeah. Um, I'm confused because, like, for example, uh, which one is it? Like, when I did my calculation for income in thousand, I did not find any outliers. So I reported my finding as mean to standard deviation. Is that correct? No, so it depends now. Only, time being, uh, only look at the variance, okay? Only the variance. 
variance are equal, mean standard deviation. Variance not equal, median and IQR. Okay, got all it. Right. That's all. Don't all confuse right. too much. Okay. Of course, later we'll see, later we'll see this analysis is useless. <laughs> and it's yes. But for you to practice, that's all. Ah, all right, all right. Why what happens next week is very important. We're going to multivariate. Nobody wants to know this in their PhD level. These are called univariate analysis, good for diploma level. But your PhD, the factors don't act upon the outcome one at a time. They work together. So only multivariate is an answer. But the presentation is going to be similar. Okay. All right. All right? Prof. Okay. Any other questions? If I didn't do the corrections, then it's up to you. Okay. Whatever I have in the final analysis, whether it is corrected or not corrected. If not corrected, first one I take that's the assignment, okay? okay? Assumption. We corrected it and put like this corrected, then I'll take this one. I won't consider your first one. So you're not correcting it, don't submit anything. You're correcting it, then only submit this one more time. Are we clear? Yes. Yes. You don't want to change anything, you want to leave it as it is, don't do anything. We feel that this is not what is wanted, it did not do what's required, you want to correct it, and then do something. Are we clear? Are we clear, class? Yes. Okay. Take a five minutes break. <laughs>